One of the most difficult and common questions that patients ask when evaluating a hair restoration procedure is which technique should I use? Should I do FUE or should I do FUT? Which is going to give me more grafts? And which is going to be better for me particularly? There are many factors that go into determining which procedure is best for an individual patient. Let's start with just if you're a man versus a woman. In most instances, women are best suited for the strip or FUT procedure. This is because in FUE you have to shave the back of the head, the donor area, and that's normally a difficult process for a woman to do. It's not that they don't have long hair and that they can cover over the area. The issue is the amount of time that it takes for them to regain the normal length of their hair can be extremely difficult for a patient to wait for. The other thing is Women in general don't have as great a density throughout the entire back area and the sides. So they'll get a better harvest with the strip procedure. Now, when we look at, at men, men can do either the strip, the FUT, or an FUE procedure. And some of the factors that go into that can be determined by what a patient wants to do with their hair after they've transplanted. For example, if someone wants to wear their hair very short, they're more likely to want to do an FUE procedure where we take the grafts out one at a time, one follicular unit at a time from the back of the head, and there's no linear scar. Now that isn't to say that the strip procedure leaves a big scar. In general, you just get a fine line. And if we do a repeat procedure, we'll take that scar out again, and you're still left with just one scar. However, some people consider that to be more aggressive procedure than doing the FUE. So if you want to do FUE and have the ability to shave the back of your head later on and not see a linear scar, you have to realize that there is certain trade-offs. For example, with the FUE, you only take about 15 to 20 percent of a given zone at each time. Where the strip procedure, you take the sweet spot the entire area of the sweet spot. And so you can get more grafts because that area is greater density and a better selection of hair. Where when you go and do the FUE procedure, you're gonna to have to go into a much larger zone. So you're gonna go higher, lower in the donor area, and more to the sides. It's a simple mathematical equation. If you're only harvesting 15 to 20%, you're going to have to harvest approximately seven times the area. Therefore, some patients who just have a small donor rim are really only good candidates for the strip procedure unless they're really gonna do a small procedure, not try to cover their whole head. So you can see there's this trade-off that goes back and forth. And that's why we like to do consultations on patients and evaluate them and kind of go through the pluses and the minuses. It's important that patients understand and are provided with both a long-term and a short-term plan for their hair restoration. And what I mean by that is that hair loss is progressive. So the hair loss that you have today isn't necessarily the hair loss that you're gonna have 10 or 20 years from now. So what we need to do is determine a plan that's good for today and that's gonna carry you through. Fortunately, we at Zeering Medical offer that evaluation both short and long-term and we offer all types of harvesting options. So we can do FUE, we can do robotic FUE, and we can do the strip FUT procedure as well. So we're gonna design a plan that works with the characteristics of your scalp, the amount of hair loss that you have, what your goals are, and what your everyday living situation is, because that will alter the plan as well. So that's a little glimpse into what we call trichosculpture. And if you come in for a complimentary consultation, myself or one of our doctors, we'll be able to design a hairline or reconstructive pattern that works specifically for you. So don't hesitate anymore. Fight the hair loss. Gain back control. Come in and let us see what we can do for you.